What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Venice. And in, in this episode, um, we have fought the previous large battle around the cities and now a Prussian stack has pushed south to engage Gustavo Minicello and we need to start destroying some of these armies and pushing outwards into their territory. And I think this will be a good start. Our force is a bit depleted so we need to be careful um, but we have some good artillery, so that will be able to do a lot of the heavy lifting. So we will want to try and chase down as many of their troops as we can and kill them. Uh, but we still need to be aware of the fact that we are we st <laughs> we are still relatively tight on money, and we desperately, desperately, desperately need quicklime. So we are still fighting battles to keep the enemy um, back until we get quicklime because right now we don't have the financial capital to outproduce them with armies um, but we will have a technical edge soon okay let's pick my weaker units keep them clustered together let's drop this unit in here as well so now i've got a center that kind of works let's deploy my guns I mean, this is my first battle. Actually, first of all, let's move my coffee out of the way. This is my first battle in some time, so I expect this to be a little bit messy. Okay, let's pick three infantry plus a guard unit, spread them out. Not optimally spread out, but that's fine. The way to optimally spread them out would have been to take my guards that are both roughly the same size. Something like that. Okay, let's put my x pat infantry on the right. Nice. Okay, heavy cavalry. Hussars. Howitzers. General. So my how my uh, ah my um foot artillery is going to go for their horse artillery, and that's fine. At least it's, well, it, it's fine until they close, until they close with us, and then we want to start using our our artillery to do damage against their. Ooh, I think. Okay, we we are yeah. We want to use wait until they get close, then we can use our artillery to destroy their forces. And I was a bit concerned about the drums because the drums are really loud. Okay, we can use my. Oh, it says a dark shot to try and thin out their numbers. Some of their heavy cavalry is forming up. Guard de corps, horse grenadier guards. My heavy cavalry is ready. They're only going to stay in line because they've got the horse grenadier guards. They may um, skirmish us. And these units can provide a bit of firepower against the Guard de Corps. Okay, right, once they form square. That's them pretty well dealt with. My artillery. Yeah, just keep attacking here. There you go, destroy the gun. They can also only misses or hit the light dragoons. See, carcass shot is just a lot less dependable. New form square as well. We're not going to try and chase down their cavalry. Right now, I would accept them being pushed away with a lot of losses. That is a good outcome for us. So his engineers are still our, obje our main objective for the for the uh, carcass shot, and they're still actually not in great shape in that regard. These units, okay, you get out of square, push the heavy cavalry, push my heavy cavalry up because they're starting to advance on us as in uh, as infantry. Well, they've dismounted the horse grenadier guards.
You men smash the horse grenade guards. Let's maneuver our infantry accordingly to try and minimize our friendly fire. Okay, now we're getting to the point where my guns switch to canister shot. Just attack their line, or attack their troops that are pushing us. Get my general out here as well. He needs to start doing some work. There's only 25 of them. You can tidy them up quite nicely. Comes the enemy hussars and our hussars. Commit my line infantry in as well. That means the left flank is pretty secure. Advance my guardsmen around. Excellent. Three horse grenade guards. Take on their guard de corps. Unfortunate, but it's the way it is. Kill the enemy general. That's nice. Artillery, continue firing at the rear. Push the infantry up. My heavy cavalry should asterisk win against the guard de corps because we outnumber them. My general get the last guardsman. Artillery is under a lot of fire. So that's part of the reason why we want to make sure we are advancing our line up. Oh, that guard decor is actually going to beat my, beat my heavy cavalry. Throw you guys in. Redeploy. Might be too late. Yeah, it is too late. Okay, pull back. Engage the engineers. The general can try get that last grenadier guard. Form squares. You're going to try and do as much damage to the engineers as you can, then go after... I mean, their artillery is actually quite depleted already. Actually, keep killing the engineers. Getting rid of some of these elite troops would be really useful. The guard de corps broken. These men can form a line again. General's coming back. Okay, how it says blast that light dragoon unit. Regiment of Dragoon or Horse Grenade, their guards is advancing. Okay, they're shattered, so I suppose we're not actually going to be able to get them. Well, we can get them, boy, means they're spread out quite well. A blend of our shotgunners are advancing. Oh, I'm getting weird smoke effects in a minute. Try to kill their artillery crews, that's something. That will be something at least. Ooh, these units can fire well off. No wonder that blank is holding a lot longer than it should. Excellent, this flank is absolutely folded. Get my general put him to work. You men can push up and reload. I need to check. I mean, I don't know if I can change them in here. Hmm. 
Mercenaries or Scrazy Guards. Those are blended by shotgun. This is some You go after the mercenaries, because these guys are tidy up the horse artillery crew. And then they will go after the superior line infantry. Howitzers, round shot, bombard the center. You then fire round shot, attack the line infantry guards. Okay, get my cavalry in. My hussars in against the light dragoons, my general. Keep attacking, run my infantry up just in case I need some help. than everybody else. Push the line up. And they are losing Dragoons. All my artillery focus on that last line infantry guard guy. They think they're winning. Kill a handful of dragoons as they run away. And get over here. King okay, might try and off pick the the lower hanging fruit. for line infantry guards with the general. It'd be really useful to try and knock these guys out. You're going after superior line infantry, although you might not be able to pathfind against the guards well enough. Superior line infantry going down. There go the guards. Try and chase down some of these units, but they're going to go. But we knocked some really good holes in that army right there. They lost a lot of troops and they lost a few key units. Excellent. Yeah, we lost 751. They lost more than two and a half thousand. So back you go, you devils. There's plenty of Polish troops around. That Polish stack is in full, st full strength. This one's very weak, so we're going to push them. The Ottomans. Ooh, okay, they're going to. Are they going to declare war on me? Maybe is the answer to that. Right. So I think I need to effectively take that last Ottoman territory. Well, not the, not the last territory, because they're in Baghdad as well. But what I mean is take that territory east of Ankara, because then I will completely be able to cut them off from the Mediterranean. And or I need to build up my navy. Because right now I'm... Yeah, I'm, right now, I'm a bit too vulnerable, I think, to naval shocks. Georgia at some point is going to do something. Istanbul's protected. Um, Ankara can be protected. They've smashed my tenanted farms. So this army may pull back to he towards here. Actually, they don't, actually, they don't need to go very far. Pull back to the road. We're not going to try and engage this army. You're going to replenish. You are going to smash that Polish force. And what we want to do is take out this unit of militia. Well, actually, we've got four units of lines. Let's take out... Two units of militia, put two infantry units into Vienna. Then send them to replenish. You guys have got plenty of irregulars, including a bunch of, a bunch of uh, conscripts. So let's reinforce those units with our conscripts. Push them in. 
Y marcha. Excellent. So then, keep bring another reinforcing army to bear. You guys can push up. But you need artillery. At least two units of foot artillery plus how it's a unit. 9,000. Um, actually, first of all, research and tech. We aren't researching quicklime yet because we, we still have yet to build the ordnance board. Three turns before that happens. Fourth and two fifths. I need to mind to start adding. Okay, I'm gonna add two more fourth rates. I don't. That's a use. That would be a useful battle to do in future. I want to try and grab, build my strength a little bit more. Then it ain't. Okay, two thousand eight hundred. the order. You're viable, but you're mostly trying to defend against troops coming in from Baghdad rather than from Yerevan. And ultimately, that's pretty. That's a pretty poor army. As is that, they're all light troops and cavalry. So if they did attack Istanbul, we'd be okay. If they attacked Ankara, that would be a different story. So let's start raising some troops in Ankara. Recruitment reports. Trade agreement cancelled with Russia. Let's get that back immediately. Because sometimes... There we go. Yeah. Sometimes they cancel it. Well, it, feel, it always feels like if they cancel it and you get it back quickly... Actually, let's try trade with... Barbary States. More money, right? 20,000 is our income. Lots of our cotton from the Syria is being... Not Syria. Egypt is being blocked right now. But we don't want to do much about that yet. Could maybe nick some fifth rates from this fleet, but I kind of need them to keep away cheap attempts to blockade my capital. My capital's reasonably secure, but what I need to do, I mean, oh, actually. Don't recruit, because if I need to, I can pull this army out of... Um, out of Cairo, we'd move them up to Antalya and move them north if I need to do quick redeployment. I do need to do this. So push you up to here, then attack. Oh boy. Very depleted. Yes, please. We need to try and destroy some of these units. One second. Um, but yeah, my main objective is to just try and hold on until I get quicklime. Then we can inflict such disproportionate damage onto the enemy that what we can do, we can then really start to go on the offensive and knock some holes in all of these European armies arrayed against us. Conscripts can just be held in reserve. How it's just fire around, shot off the bat. Frankly, their army is too depleted to worry about you needing quicklime. Advance forward at speed. Cavalry. Push up. Cavalry's coming in, so to be honest, if I can, I mean, it's not not fast enough. Drop them all into squares. Save on the three. My counter battery is working. My cavalry go after their lancers. 
these squares get out of square. Excellent. Stay in square. Let's go kill that general's bodyguard. Bring out my general's bodyguard. My cavalry still engaging their lances. Lots of depleted cavalry. Aha, found their infantry. A hidden infantry. No way, not mine, no. I'll tell you what you're doing. Ultimately, my. Uh, they can't now. Deployed stakes. Keep my cavalry. Should get my cavalry over towards the center. Push up against their irregular position with my infantry instead. They've lured me in and attacked me for attacking their general. One artillery unit destroyed. Who killed their general? Get my cavalry out on the wing. Just need to push up right into their faces. Go keep my cavalry away. I'll try and knock out some of these enemy infantry units. You men chase down the guerrilla mercenaries because they're chasing after us specifically. You men engage the warband at the top. Careful about those stakes. They came in to bayonet charge us, that's quite fun. You stay this side of the stakes, please. Artillery or just cease fire. Let the infantry battle progress the way it wants to progress, because right now our hands are full. I'm gonna go over here. Actually, no, that's a Seeker crew, I'm not overly bothered about them. Seekers may or may not get away, that's fine. The engineers. Excellent. Engineers are a good unit. Decent to knock them out, although not as good as not as good as shooting as you would think, being a foot guard unit. But then again, I suppose they are engineers. The rationale is that they are more physical, I suppose. Kill that last guy. I mean, no, the last guy is these. This infantry, this artilleryman over here. But my general looks like he's going to get him. Although, ooh, it's a bit, no, it's a bit close. 
The only hope we can get is if we get close enough. Oh, which we won't. I don't mind them having Sakers, because Sakers are bad artillery. But they're just not very good. So if they... Oh, that entire army is destroyed. Push up and secure the bridge. Then replenish. 1,500 left. That gives us some... Um, Money to buy two line infantry units. Cool. So, in fact, in grass, rather than doing diamond formation, you might start chipping away at some of these naval techs. Same with Konya. Not really bothered about crop rotation, although lots of these are quite. I mean, I'm going to leave it so they, so they get crop rotation, but then they're going to jump straight on to punch card loom. Help boost our economy as much as possible. Okay, let's hit end turn and see how the enemy responds to our actions. Mm -hmm. Still a lot of Prussian troops around. This is what I mean about about quicklime. When you've got quicklime, ooh, when you've got quicklime, you're able to do a whole lot more. And obviously the Ottomans have declared on me. Let's call my allies. Two invasion forces have been launched. Here is their main effort. You are going to go towards Istanbul? No, you're dropping off of Ankara. You may still go for Istanbul. At least their army has committed. It means that our force in Cairo can move up. Sweden is at the gates of Moscow. Holy moly. Yep, yeah, I think we may have to destroy the Ottomans once and for all. It does mean it will be, probably be a war with the Persians. Um... But at least with the Persians, they don't have Mediterranean access. And we can more readily guard Baghdad against Persian attack. It's frustrating that Poland has got around our line. But there we are. 19,000. Sabotage more of my farmland. It's your full strength. We've got a lot of mercenaries. I think the objective now is to take... I mean, I don't, I don't want to do stuff with you. You come south to fight them. You go north to prevent a breakthrough from these guys around here. You guys stay close. 220... 338 SR unit and a 225 12 pound unit. This game is hella broken. Okay, let's pull out some of these weaker conscript units. Avanti! Pronti agli ordini. Nope, I can pull out one more. Altro? Siamo pronti. Excellent. For your crop rotation, so yeah, Konya, get on with punch card loom, not steam engine because it takes too long. Mines in Paphos, Mine Masters works in Romelia, and Metal Roads in Vienna. All really good stuff. Signore. I don't want to go for the military academy yet. Servo vostro. But yeah, you're going to chase down this this army. We may well lose a territory, but then we'll bottle them up and destroy the entire army while maintaining a strong front line. So that's pretty good. They've landed. It's a weak force, so if they go for the city, we'll be able to take them out. What about where these guys go? I mean, you guys are just going to come. Just cut south. Just to head these guys off and face them down. I, mean, I still need you guys here to keep guard keep guard at Cairo.
chiedete l'impossibile. But I think I do need to build up a second army in the Middle East to try fight off these attacks that are coming in and to, and to ultimately take the war to our enemy. So let's start the build up. We haven't got to worry about doing it massively quickly yet. The Ankara. Let's gather some more line infantry. They can go for oh, they can go for the city right off the bat. Okay, I think we need to commit our Cairo defense force. Okay. Can't get there quickly yet. But they're close. If they I mean if they lo if they lost the city to this army, we'll take it back quickly. It's unfortunate that we lose our church scores and a lot of our progress towards pacifying the city would go. Now you're gonna stay here and bolster the force. Eight and a half thousand. Okay, let's get you guys in dock. Actually, no, we can continue our Witcheroo. Okay, I think it might be one bitrate and then upgrade another port, likely Thessaloniki. Athens has got theirs. Bulgaria doesn't have any ports yet at all. Although, industry is a good one to get. Industry and maybe pick up a few farms. Though, where is currently not at max development? No villages left. Ooh, Naples is about to pop again. Like the state house, because Naples earns a lot of money. So let's get an extra boost to income. Next turn, they're going to get a new town, which is going to be great. Potenza. Right. Let's. Trade agreement cancel with the Ottomans. I mean, let's we, let's see if this works. It probably won't. <laughs> yeah. That sort of stuff doesn't work. Handy. Even handier. So now that army's teleported away. For a period, we can bring our maximum force to bear against the Prussians. Interesting. Very interesting. If you're going to go west, I mean, you're a very good army. We're not. They're not necessarily ready to beat you. I'm hoping they're just going to go east and raid these, raid all this stuff again. One more turn till we get citizenship. Which I'm not that. Ultimately, as soon as we get access to Quickline, Austria wants an alliance, and they're offering money to do it. So yes, I'll do it. Take your money. I need to bolster the garrison at Venice. I need to build some walls. It's an expensive investment, but I'm hoping the Prussians losing their main ally in this war will convince them that they should give up. And I imagine you know, imagine Poland will declare war on us eventually. But we're going to be in a better position to withstand it. So here come the Ottomans. Yeah, they're going to come after us. And they might get it, actually. With all these troops. With these troops. They might actually get it. But let's find out. Let's find out indeed. But then we can march on the city with our other army. Take it back immediately. And then get ready to hold Ankara. For a couple of turns. At least we know where their army is. And um, we'll lose our 
yeah, we'll lose our church schools, but that's okay. We can deal with that for a while. And the objective here would be to try and do as much damage as possible. I mean, the garrison might be quite spicy against us, but we should be able to sweep it away. The objective would be... my line infantry to do as much damage as possible scare away their infantry as easily as possible if we can just make them run away rather than we don't necessarily need to kill them if we can just make them run that would be great That's a lot of guys. That's a lot of guys to make run away. Especially when you can't really aim your howitzers, because all they do is move. Actually, no, there we go, we can aim them. But yeah, this is this is gonna be this is not gonna be our greatest hour. Unless these... I mean, they broke after losing two units. Yeah, they, they, there's no way they don't come back, those Tartar. It's, our, it's their cavalry we are the most concerned about. Because it's the cavalry that will prevent us from doing our firing drills. There goes another Tartar advance. The hand mortars are scary as well. But just keep. I mean, if we can defeat these defeat the main bulk, bulk of their army before those guys show up. That would be super. And the Tartar are in position. I mean, these guys aren't very good musketeers, but we need the maximum firepower we can get. Because once those risks of souls get into action, then we're in trouble. But yeah, right now it's down to our line infantry. Load and fire as fast as you can. You men engage the risks of souls. Is they're causing okay, they're starting to cause friendly fire now. Excellent, they're wavering. Okay, keep shooting at them. While they're at their most vulnerable. Bring you guys in to get involved in the crossfire. Excellent. It might pull the citizenry back a little bit, just so they're not quite so obviously getting hit by the archers. Engage the Seminese mortars. Our base, make ready.
You men engage the riskers of souls. And waters, man. They're dangerous. They're really dangerous. center right out of our formation. Here we go. Although it's still too much. soften them up. We can soften them up such that our counter-attack will be more decisive. Thalatar coming in. Broken. Yes, Colonials, come back. Although they're starting to get around our flank. I mean, <laughs> unsurprising really, from the number of troops they've got to bring to bear. option might be to go straight in. Don't let them, just don't let them get into position. Help the line infantry smash this one unit of archers. You men come back in. This is typically fighting the way the Ottomans want to fight. Armenian archers are wavering. Oh, they both broke. But yeah, there we go. Now their cavalry is coming in. Ooh, one second. Now their cavalry is coming in. Form square. Do some damage to the cavalry as they come in. Oh, they were coming in. Go get them. Okay, you guys, just go get them. Very Tata. Should we get a couple of kills? Although, we appear to have not done so yet. Rats. Fear my mortars. No, nope, not anymore. <laughs> yeah, let's see this out to its natural conclusion. Well, we have felled a few cavalrymen. Yeah, at least we at least we managed to soften them up for our counter attack. It's gonna knock a bit of a hole in our defenses for the time being. But like I said, we will we'll take it back. They're going to get a bit of a garrison, a tiny garrison, two units of a garrison. And here come their armies. 
Uh, no, I do not want to intercept. You think you're so tough, Ottoman Empire. I must disabuse you of that notion. I mean, Russia... <laughs> Russia just lost Moscow. Whatever. That's fine, I guess. At least it does mean I have to worry about them less as a competitor in the short term. They've got something else to worry about. Unless they plan on using my lands for their expansion. Well, their, their expansion away from the Swedes. Pirates at the ready. 21,000. Not bad at all. So they've taken this territory back temporarily. Because this army is depleted quite badly. They get a unit of armed populace as a garrison and a unit of Israeli. That's okay. We will fight it. Um, I think I might actually... So this army... Or do I actually bring you guys to bear against? Because we know they can get here in one turn. Although I don't want them to go after Istanbul either. Bring you guys back around here. Just They're just going to kind of cat and mouse with this army. Okay, right. Let's do this. You go into there. Move these ships out. Ultimately, you're going to actually help this militia unit. It's going to bolster the attack. Disembark the troops. You're going to push up close to the city. Sick three going to here. You guys going to there. You guys going to here. You might now try to jump on the Spanish. Trade route raided. Trade route raided. Fine. Potenza's grown, so let's get, get Potenza up to a craft workshop. Totally a lost. Like I said, we've lost our church schools. That's fine. We've got citizenship. Now Verona's gone on to secular humanism, which will help cut down on the religious unrest. Although, you should now, I think, be able to research the precious... Oh, next turn. The precious quicklime. Port blockaded. Yeah, we're not really trying to fight here. Although, they have no port. Well, they have ports now. Previously, they had no port, so any losses they took were permanent. Ooh, let's make sure that Jerusalem is occupied. Well, at least the port is garrisoned. Yeah, you're just going to spar against this guy. If they want to push us out of the ports, that's fine. Um, let's Don't worry about the artillery. Just worry about building up a of you because you were going to go up to the new army. Just start building up a garrison. Okay, right. Give Istanbul some conscripts to bolster their garrison. Back here at home. Build up my artillery. to be honest, and my army. I'm sure they're going to go raid, but if they come after my capital, I am screwed. I do have enough money to build fortifications, which will really help. So let's cut down on this a bit and instead focus on 
cheaper, faster units to produce to provide the maximum maximum short term bonus. Actually I can actually I can afford to do that. Because I have troops nearby to help protect Ankara if we get attacked by this army. And I'm gonna be occupying the city anyway. Actually, I might even get to move my troops in. Yes, I can. Oh, my cavalry can't get in. My infantry can. Let's make sure my cavalry, but not my general, is at the uh, front of the line. One second. Sorry, a bit of my... see a bit of my illness creeping in there. Um, but there we go. Let's go attack the city. Ultimately, I'll try and take Ankara and then see if I can make peace with them again just so I can bolster my position. Because sometimes that works. You know, once the enemy takes a big loss, they want to make peace. They don't want to continue the war, so it's worth trying to jump on it. Artillery deployed back and bombard. Infantry, form line and advance. Militia, hold back. They are advancing towards me because they, I have the artillery advantage. If they just stand there, they will die. Use my artillery to focus on their cavalry elements. Let's bring up my own cavalry. Excellent. But yeah, they are acutely aware of the fact that they can't just sit there and do what they like. Here come the Armenian archers within range of multiple infantry units. And they're going to be scoured from the land. deploy back. Gracier smash into the Armenian archers. So they've hidden their cavalry. My heavy cavalry will do. We'll make quick work of these fellows. There's their hand mortars. Make sure we get them. Push the cavalry up. Make sure they route. Shattered, perfect. Slam the cavalry into these Tatar. Reform the line. Yeah, I'm getting weird, funky smoke. Effects. Charge my heavy cavalry in against the Semini. You guys haven't formed your line yet. Smash the Semini, make sure they shatter. 
go straight on into the Pelleying Musketeers. My artillery engage the Tartar that are running away. Charge the cavalry on into the Armenian archers. That's right, you fellows. Better run. Artillery uh, pokes fire those Tartar. But apart from that, I think we're gonna send in the heavy cavalry. You men keep killing these Armenian archers. This will teach you to come back at us. Take the ground, lest they come back. Cavalry charge coming in. Try and tip the balance. Ah, uh, they put some of them. Come. See, this is the problem when you route them. You need to make sure you do it in a. You need to make sure you do secure the ground. Charge the cavalry on into the Tartar. A couple of artillery shots are coming in. But let's soon cease fire on that. Wavering. Granted, they've only just come back from routing, so they should be a bit upset. It's their general. They should be. They should be gone pretty rapidly. Meanwhile, our brave Venetian troops are storming up to take take the high ground. It's exactly the sort of thing my curiosity I like to do. Slash cut thrust. Ooh, hello. They're attempting to engage us. Yeah, my artillery is open fire. Rounds coming in. through them. Should probably pull the light cavalry out, just not the sort of thing they, they excel in. So they've been beaten. Armenian archers have come back. Excellent. Here come the Armenian archers, African native infantry. Make ready. Fire. Oh, you're reloading. I see. Nope. Artillery fire alone's pushed them back. Back, you devils! There we go. So the yeah, the city will take a, it'll take a bit of time to bring them back into the fold, but only minus one. That's not bad. They're going to raid over here, so let's not spend money doing that. We are probably going to spend the money on replenishing our troops, and then next turn, rebuild a lot of things that we've damaged. They are being taxed, so we're going back. We're getting back that two thousand a turn, eleven thousand, because lots of our trades being raided. We've lost all of our cotton. Oh yeah, because of yeah, these guys have lost. We've lost all of our cotton, so you guys are going to go attack these Spanish ships with the aim of taking them into the fleet. But looking at the timer, I believe it is time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we've see we will see you next time for the continuing adventures of Venice. Cheers, everyone. Mm -hmm.